Hi guys, it's Legionero back with another video. Um, today I'm going to try my hand at creating a monthly spread for my planner. I use the Erin Condren Hourly Planner. So I've been making my weekly planner stickers, so I'm going to try my hand at making a monthly. So here we go. So I'm in Cricut Design Space and I'm going to hit New Project. And I'm going to bring over some images. And some of the images I got from Creative Fabrica. And some of the images I created in Canva using digital paper that I got from Creative Fabrica. So let's see. I got to save them to my desktop. So um, I hit upload. If you missed what I did, I hit upload and then browse. And this popped up. So I'm just looking for the stickers that I made or the washi that I made. Um, all right, so here's one. All right, so I just clicked on it and I always hit complex and continue. Um, this is for, let's say this had a white background. I was just clicking this background and it would um, take away the background, but I don't have any background here because I saved it as a transparent PNG. And I'm going to hit apply and continue. And then we're going to do print and cut. All right, so there's one. And I have a couple of more to upload, so I'm just going to go ahead and upload those and then I'll come back and show you how I get started. All right, so now that I have everything that I need uploaded, I'm going to go ahead and click on them. And add them to my canvas. There's some other things I need to add, but I'll do that um, later. All right, so just waiting on that to pop up. All right, here we go. So, all right, so I'm just going to, um, this is gonna be one of my boxes, so I'm just gonna make this smaller. Um, so anytime I wanna do specific widths and heights, I hit this lock button and I come up here and I change the width and height of my boxes. All right. So I'm just going to put this over to the side, right? All right. So this will be the washi that will go across the top. And I want this washi to be uh, six and a half for the height and for the width. I want it to be 1.6. All right. And I'm going to make two of these because I want it to be the same on um, both sides of the month. So I'm going to hit duplicate. All right. And then this thin washi here, I'm just going to make that um, 0.25 for the width. And I think that's too small. I want to do point, I want to do point four for the width. And then I'm going to do for the height, six and a half, All right? And I may bring that down to point three because I don't want it to be a half an inch. So I think I'm going to bring it down to three um, and hope that that works. And I'm going to also duplicate that. So this will be across the top. And then I'm going to put this at the bottom here. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to send to front so I can line up my um, days there, my um, Sunday through Saturday. All right. So I'm just going to line these up because I want to be able to get as much as I can 
in the space that Cricut will allow me to print. And if you're not familiar with Cricut, Cricut only allows you for print and cut to print um, 6.75 by 9.25 on the page. So, And I'll show you how I make sure that everything fits on my page. This is going to be some washi that's at the bottom um, of my month. The, you know how the month has like carryover until the next month. I'm just going to cover those spots up. But you'll see, whenever I do my plan with me video, you'll see how I do that. All right, so I'm going to unlock that. I want my width to be 1.6 and my height for this one to be 5. All right. All right, so that's all of the washi. So now I'm going to just add some boxes. And with this box, I made it 1.5 by... Um, 0.5. I'm going to use these boxes to label birthdays and I have about seven birthdays for the month of March. March is a busy birthday month. All right, so I'm just going to duplicate this box here. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want to do one more just in case I miss somebody, <laughs> but I think I think I counted right. I think I got about um, seven birthdays in the month of March. So I'm just going to kind of line these up a little bit. And I'm going to select them all. And I'm going to align left. That way they all line up together. All right. So now what I want to do, I want to check my print area. So I'm going to go to shapes and I'm just going to choose a square. I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to do 6.75 by 9.25 and I'm going to change the color a little bit just to a lighter color. All right, and I'm going to bring it here and I'm going to do a range and send to back. All right, so I can see my stickers. All right, so I can see now this is what I have left in my print area. So what I want to do first, I want to grab my boxes and I want to turn them. And bring them about here. All right. All right. So there's that. So other than that, the only other thing for the month that I probably want is I want to do my days of the week, of course. And then I want to do um, probably I'll put a payday sticker or something like that on there just to show my paydays for the month of March. And I think that will be it because right now, um, I don't know of a lot of things that I have going on in March. I'll just add stuff as I go. All right, so I'll show you how I make the text and do the offset. Um, I'll show you once and then, you know, I'll do the rest the same way. I may not do the rest on camera because it, sometimes it takes a long time. So I'm gonna go to text. And I'm going to change my text. I hit system so I can use um, a font that's on my computer. So I'm going to go March. And, all right, so that's my month. And I'm going to do. Let's see, I'm going to change it to that color, but now I'm going to put an offset behind it. All right, so it has an offset on here. I'm going to hit, I'm going to try to bring my offset up just a little bit because you see these little spots here. I don't want that to print, but the thing that I'm looking to change most is this 
spot here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what happened. All right. I click. Oh, there we go. All right. So I'm just going to kind of bring this over. All right. And it still has a little spot here, but I'm going to hit apply anyway. And since I have the spot, I can hit contour over here and just click that spot. And it took it away. All right. So now I'm going to over here, I'm going to click on my offset and I'm going to change my offset to white. All right. And then I'm going to click and drag to select them both and hit flatten. All right. And now I'm going to turn this. And this is where it will go. You know, I'm going to do some maneuvering, of course. Um, but this is, I'm going to put this on my washi. So it'll represent the month of March. And then I'm going to, you know, make sure it's centered and everything. Um, I'm also going to do um, 2002. So I'm just going to do the same thing with the rest of the text that I'm going to put on here. So I'm going to do um, 2002. <laughs> 2020, I'm also going to do some payday scripts. And um, I'm going to add probably, you know, birthday boxes and different things like that. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Okay, so um, I want to show you guys real quick how I'm going to do this March header. So this is the washi that will be on my header. This is March. I'm just And you saw me put the offset around March. So I'm just going to drag it down. And I'm going to click and drag to highlight both. And then I'm going to align center. That way it's in the center. And then I am going to click and drag and highlight them both again and hit flatten. All right. And I did the same thing to the um, 2022. All right. So I'm just going to put this back. I'm going to turn it and just put it back here. So I also I made some smaller boxes. This is a reminder um, header here. I did some payday um, scripts, some meeting scripts, and then I did my um, days of the week scripts. This is a gift box, um, and I'm going to put that with my birthdays. So let's see. I'm going to grab, I tried putting the offset around it, but I didn't like it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come here. I'm going to grab a circle. Right. I'm going to place that circle in front of the gift box and then I'm going to send it to the back and I'm going to highlight the gift box. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to make the um, circle smaller as well, but um, let me see. I want this to be, I think, white. Um, or should it be blue? What do y'all think? I think it should be blue. Or is that too much? I think I'll make it white. All right. So I'm going to just take them both down a little smaller. And I'm going to highlight them both. I'm going to align center so it'll be centered. And then I am going to flatten. So I don't know if I like the circle being white or not. Um, hmm. I'll just leave it. If I don't like it, I'll just change it next next month for April. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to um, flatten so it'll all print together. And then I'm going to change the size to, uh, let's see, I'm going to change the size to, oh, that's small, about 0.4. Oh, undo. Bring it around. Yeah, I'm still not sure about that white because my boxes are white on the inside. 
So maybe I will. All right. So my um um time ran out on my recording. <laughs> so I ended up making the circles blue, and I have the gift boxes inside. Um, see if I can bring it a little bit closer, so you can see it a little bit better. I don't know if that helped or not, but let's see. Yeah. All right, so there's that. Um, so I have my washi, my thick washi, my thin washi. This is a bottom washi. Um, I have all of the boxes that I need, I think. I have my payday scripts, my meeting scripts, and then my days of the week scripts. I think this is it. I think this is all I need. Um, so now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click my little box in the background that I use for my print area. Um, well, first I'm going to kind of slide that washi over just a smidge. All right. So click that box and delete it. I'm going to click and drag to highlight everything. And I'm going to hit attach. This keeps, when you hit make it, this keeps it from moving around. Um, and um, so you won't have different things on different mats. I'm going to hit make it um, because I want to make sure that everything is still going to be on one sheet. All right, so this is it. I hit make it. It is all on one sheet. All right. Um, so now I'm just going to um, do the rest on my Cricut. Um, I haven't turned my Cricut on yet, so it won't recognize my Cricut. Um, but yeah, I just want to show you guys really quick how I use Cricut, Cricut Design Space to make my planner stickers. Um, yeah. All right, if you have any questions for me, you can just put them in the comments below for me. Um, and I'm going to use this monthly kit for the month of March. So I'm going to film my plan with me um, for my monthly view for March. And you will see these stickers in action. All right, thank you again for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post a new video. And I'll see you in the next one.